Hey Grace, I'm starting to get the hang of CSE for monitoring security. I know that rules are the key to CSE's signals and insights. I think it'll be fun to write one of my own. That's a great idea. You can learn a lot from getting your hands dirty. So a rule is just a piece of code that decides whether a record creates a signal. And CSE has four types of rules, match, threshold, chain, and aggregation. Which one should I start with? Match rules are the simplest rule. They use a Boolean statement. If the statement is true, it creates a signal. If it isn't, it doesn't. That sounds easy. But what should my rule do? My advice is to start small. Remember that CSE is all about evaluating log messages. How about writing a rule that looks for an interruption of logging? Okay, I know that Windows logs a message when the event log service shuts down. And the event ID for that is security 1100. So I could write a rule to check for that. Great idea. That error code is either there or it isn't. So how do I start? The first thing you do is name the rule. Easy enough, that can be anything you'd like. But the most important bit is the rule expression. That's a simple Boolean statement. It's either true or false. Okay, so I write an if statement to check whether that event ID is there. Right. You'll also need to configure the signal that will be created if the rule is triggered. First, the entity, which could be IP address, host name, or username. You'll also configure the name of the signal that will be created. For my rule, the entity might be host name, since we'll be detecting whether that host is sending logs, and the signal would be named something like Windows Log Service Shutdown? Exactly. Next, you'll need a stage. These are based on the MITRE ATT&CK framework. Something like initial access or exfiltration? That's right. But in your case, it doesn't really fit into any of the stages, so you can pick other. Makes sense. A logging shutdown could be a hacker trying to disguise themselves, or it could simply be a power outage. Either way, I still want to know. Makes sense. And finally, you can choose the severity. This is on a scale of 1 to 10. More severe signals are more likely to become insights. Well, a logging shutdown isn't very severe, so I should give it a low rating. Right. So, are you ready to put all this into action? Yeah. I think I have all my notes together. Great. Log into the CSE UI. In the top nav, click Content then Rules. This will show you all the rules you have. Okay. All these rules were created by Sumo Logic in response to various known threats, right? Yeah. But in your case, you want a custom rule because it doesn't exist yet. You can double check this by searching in the top filters bar. You're right. None of these rules have the 1100 error code. Okay, so let's create it. Click Create in the upper right corner. And here, I'll pick Match. Right. Now, fill in all the info. Start with your rule's name and the expression. Okay. I'll name it Windows 1100 Error. So my rule needs to specify that it applies to Microsoft Windows. So it's looking for metadata vendor equals Microsoft. Oh, cool. There's autocomplete and code formatting to help me write the expression. Okay, so then metadata product equals Windows. And finally, metadata device event ID equals security 1100. That looks great. Now for the entity. It's already populated with some good choices here. Hmm. Okay, I picked hostname. Now we'll name the signal. I'll skip the description and summary for now and just pick the stage. Just like you said, it has all the MITRE categories. It's hard to remember them all. So this makes your job easier. Right. So I picked unknown for stage and a low severity score. But what's this constant or dynamic severity option? Oh, if you want to customize your rule even further, you could choose dynamic. That would let you base the severity on various fields in the record the rule scans. Okay. I'll keep that in mind if I ever need it later. Looks like you're done. Now, click Submit. Your rule will be checked against all the new incoming records. If there's a match, it'll show up in the signals. Awesome! Thanks for teaching me how to write my first CSE match rule.